What's up, everyone? Hope you're doing well. Today, we're going to be giving you the top 10 loanouts you can be using right now in Warzone 3. Rebirth Island is coming back April 3rd this next week to Warzone 3. So I want to make sure to have you prepared with weapons that I think you need to have leveled up by then if you haven't already. Now, these are going to be in no particular order and they are mix and match. So you can use the SMGs with any AR or any AR with these SMGs. Just use what's most comfortable to you because if you're not comfortable, you're not going to be pushing your enemies. And if you're not pushing your enemies, you're not getting more eliminations, which is kind of the point. Also, drop the favorite loadout that you're using down in the comments below and maybe i'll give it a try let's get into it before this first set of loadouts i've got the holger 26 lmg which i'm absolutely loving right now and there is a uh conversion kit as well but this is just the normal holger 26 lmg that i'm, I'm using for long range because it has very little recoil and very high damage so having a lot of fun with it i've got this paired with the wsp9 this particular wsp9 i'm doing a video on soon as well so uh you're gonna have the little jump on this one so with that holger 26 we're going with the zimmoth compensated flash muzzle the holger factory barrel the bruin heavy support grip under barrel the jack glassless op or the Corio Eagle's Eye 2.5 times scope and the Ascent Lord stock. As I always show this to you guys here in the firing range, very little recoil, very easy to control and pretty high damage. Next for that WSP-9, we're going with the Zimmon Compensated Flash Muzzle, the WSP Reckless 90 Long Barrel, the DR6 Handstop Under Barrel, the 50 Round Mag, and the WSP Classics Factory Stock. This thing has very low recoil. The creator who created this loadout, which I will do a video on, said it had negative recoil. And so what I want to do here is test that negative recoil theory. And obviously, it has recoil. But it has very little recoil, which is very, very nice. So loving that. Next, I have the HRM9 and the SOA Subverter. For that HRM9, we're going with the Zimmon 35 Compensated Flash Muzzle, the Thorn 90 Barrel, the R6 Handstop Under Barrel. I like the 50 round drum here, along with the folding stock. Show this to you guys here in the firing range. I think the HRM is just one of the, uh, it's just the most, one of the most consistent SMGs along with the AMR9 right now. That and the Ram 9 is really, really good. For the SOA Subverter, we're going with the Zimmon 35 Compensated Flash, the Dozer 90 Long Barrel, the Bruin Heavy Support Grip Under Barrel. I like the Jack Glasses Optic, or you can run the Corio Eagle's Eye, completely up to you, and the 50 Round Drum. Show the Subverter to you here in the firing range. Very easy recoil, very high damage. Little bit harder to control at range there, but so good. Next up is my favorite LMG, and that's the Bruin MK9. The Bruin, I'm running the Zimmon 35 Compensated Flash Muzzle, the Horizon V2 Barrel, the Bruin Heavy Support Grip Under Barrel, the Jack Glasses Optic, or that Corio Eagle's Eye, and the 60 Round Mag. Show this to you guys here in the firing range. This is my favorite LMG to run right now. Uh, a very close second is that Holger 26 because of the, the accuracy, but the TTK with this Bruin is so, so solid. So for that AMR9, I'm running the Zimmer 35 Compensated Flash, the Regal Pro Barrel, the DR6 Handstop Under Barrel, 50 Round Mag, and you can use whatever site makes you comfortable here, but I'm using the Jack Glassless again. So this one too here in the firing range, it's just so consistent and the TTK is so high. And I use it on, <laughs> I use it on ranks specifically for that reason. Just in case I, you know, end up running out of ammo or something crazy happens, I have a secondary weapon that with high damage that i can count on and uh be able to still uh outplay and maneuver some people if i need to but man the amr9 is just so much fun to run just so good Then we're running the Ram 7 with the Ram 9. I like both the Rams together. It's a lot of fun to run. Going with the Ram 7, we're going with the VT7 Spirit Fire Suppressor, or you can go with that Zimmon 35, completely up to you. XRK Core Mark 40 Heavy Barrel, the Bruin Heavy Support Grip Under Barrel, the 60 Round Drum, along with the HVS 3.4 Pad. Show this to you here in the firing range. Just Ram 7 is still so good and so easy to control. Just <laughs> ridiculous. that ram 9 i've actually switched my loadout a little bit we're going with the speedway v5 short barrel the r6 handstop under barrel the 50 round mag the haste xv grip tape along with the recon comb comb now this is uh definitely a shorter range loadout um that's perfect right in that range uh once you get to mid range it's a little harder to control and real hard to kind of see with that visual recoil on it but this is kind of why you want to run it right there
Next up, I have the MCW. The MCW for me is better than the MTZ556 for me. Now, a lot of people prefer the MTZ556. I'm gonna show you why I prefer the MCW over the MTZ556, but we're gonna go ahead and get into it. For this MCW, I'm gonna have the Zimmon 35 Compensated Flash, the MCW Cyclone Long Barrel, the Bruin Heavy Support Grip Under Barrel, 60 Round Drum, and the Jack Glassless Optic. You can run the Corio Eagle's Eye too if you want, completely up to you. Now, here's the reason I run the MCW. It's very accurate, obviously, no problem at all. But what I want you to look at is the bottom right-hand corner. I have 30 rounds left in a 60 round mag, okay? That's kind of what I look for, for me personally, how many rounds I have left after I finish off these three dummies. So 30 rounds, that means I can go either another six dummies if I get exactly that accurate, which is like 83% if you see it here in the top left corner. So if I get that exact opposite again, if I get that exact accuracy again, which actually a little bit more accurate that time. I got it in that 30 rounds again. So in a 60 round mag, I downed six dummies. That's pretty impressive for, uh, that's pretty impressive for an AR. Let's go over to that MTZ556, which everyone loves as well. I'm gonna put on the thing that gives it a little bit more vertical recoil control. Usually I run the VT7 Spirit Fire Suppressor with this, just to give it a little bit more range and a little bit more damage, but I'll show you what I mean. So right now I have no sight on it, okay? All right, it got a little hard for me to control, but we're down two dummies right now. And look at the bottom right-hand corner. We have only 18 bullets left to get this back dummy. In my opinion, anytime I've run into a bad loadout or a bad weapon in general, this is what I get. So for me, the MCW is better than the MTZ 556. Now, based on stats, nothing like that, but at least for me, so we're, let me go put a sight on it. Maybe I'm better with a sight, right? We'll see. Okay, close range. Perfectly fine. Much better there. Much better there. So I am better with a sight there, but it's all over the place when I get to range. And I have zero, I'm already reloading. And remember, I had three more dummies on top of the 60 round, on that 60 round mag. And this only has a 50, so it has 10 less, 10 less bullets. 27 here. I'm just not hitting my shots with this. Me personally, I prefer the MCW over the MTC 556. You may be better with this than I am, but that is the reason I see. I just, every single time it's, it never fails. I just can't, I'm not a good, as good at controlling this as I, as I want to be. I'm running the striker nine with this. The striker nine is a lot of fun to run as well. I'm going with the Zimmer 35 compensated muzzle, the DR6 hand stop under barrel, the 50 round drum and the Jack glasses optic with the Lockman MK2 light stock to give it a little bit more mobility. This thing is just so accurate as well. So like you're, you're having a good time with this for sure. This is a great sniper support as well. I'm I mean, range is a little tough, a little tougher just because of the mag size here. But, um, and this thing, if this thing had a hundred round drum on it, I, it would definitely be worth running. See if we can hit this long one here. Yeah, just that. <laughs> but uh, mid range and short range, which is what it's supposed to be used for. It's very, very solid. All right, so for this next loadout, we're going with the Evolver. Uh, we're going with the Zimmer 35 Compensated Flash, the Eviction 762 Heavy Barrel, the Hound 9G Grip, uh, the Jack Glassless Optic, and the Rampart Heavy Stock. So this two-year firing range. This thing's still very good. Very little recoil, much uh, slower ADS time than it used to have, so keep that in mind. Then with this, I'm running the Striker. The Striker is a lot of people's favorites as well. Zimmon 35 Compensated Flash, the DR6 Hand Stop Under Barrel, 48 Round Mag, Jack Glasses Optic, and that Lockman MK2 Light Stock again. This might actually be, I think, one of the more accurate SMGs in the game. Probably very close um, to the AMR9 for me when it comes to accuracy. A um, lot of fun to run. I love running the Striker, man. Very, I, I think highly underrated when it comes when it comes to an SMG as well. Again, you put that long barrel on there, you're, you have a great sniper support as well. And then if you're looking for a sniper loadout, something like that, if you're running a sniper and you need a sniper support, the MCW is the best sniper support in my opinion, along with the WSP9 if you wanna run that as well, but the MCW, great option as an SMG. And then the XRK Stalker is my favorite, my favorite sniper for sure. For that XRK, we're going with the Sonic Suppressor XL Muzzle, the Fission 60 Barrel, the 50 Cal High Grain Rounds, the No Stock, along with the XRK Stalker Light Bolt, to speed up that fire rate. 
And for that MCW SMG, Chimera Silent Shot Integral Barrel, DR6 Handstop Under Barrel. I like the Blackout High Grain Rounds. You get the Blackout High Grain Rounds when you attach this Jack Raven kit, and then you add that 40 round mag, and it's just a oh, very, very good. So those two here in the firing range. Uh, this is a perfect sniper support build. I don't know, again, range is not bad, but again, you have that 40 round mag. So this is where you're looking to use it. And it, it has great mobility. And that's that's why I love running it too. It's real hard, great mobility, and it's an AR. Love it. Thank you guys again for watching. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that noti bell so you don't miss another video, especially when we drop into Rebirth Island next week. Guys, hit that subscribe button. Don't miss a video. It's about to get really fun around here. Rebirth is going to be back. I think Warzone is going to be up, up, up. Let me know what you think. Let me know what run loadouts you're loving right now. Just make sure you hit that sub button. So you don't miss another video like this or like one of these. We'll see you in the next one.